The quest to find more obscure electronics continues with this. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, what the hell is this? Well, as you can see through the uh, print right here, it clearly says video now, personal video player. If you're wondering why there's a bunch of gunk on the front, it's because I got in a thrift store and they have those stupid stickers that you can't pull off without having a bunch of gunk on the front. So when was this made? This was made in... It, 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 this has a fixed focus. <clears throat> okay, well, as I will read for you, this was made in 2003 uh, by Hasbro, even though when you start it up, it says Tiger. So I don't know why Tiger doesn't have any credit outside here. Wait, I never checked the disc. Uh, yeah, it just says Hasbro. Huh. Anyways, this is a video now. And what it does, as you probably might have guessed with these buttons right here, that has Play, pause. Nope, no, 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 no. You're gonna ruin the surprise. <laughs> Whew. Surprise was almost ruined. <clears throat> Anyways, as you can clearly see, these buttons right here, this and the uh, title, this is a video player because of back in 2003, you didn't have iPods. Uh, you had devices specifically for one purpose. And the disc we currently have in here, they use their own specialized disc, is Scooby-Doo, The Rage Backstage. Scooby-Doo being a show that I'm pretty sure you can watch on every single device known to man. <clears throat> and several to ape. Uh, so, uh, so you have the buttons, Jack's button, I believe this is the speaker, headphone jack, and I can confirm that uh, even though it might not sound very good through the camera, it if you put headphones on, you find that the sound quality is actually very, very nice, uh, especially when you would compare it to um, something that you're going to see later on. It takes two AA batteries, uh, contrast knob, but uh, it does not refer to any sort of backlight or front light, as this is, hey, it's me, hello, uh, this is more akin to that of a, uh, well, I guess I'll just show you, volume up, and let's take a dive into uh, Scooby-Doo for video now. I think that's enough of that. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell through uh, the camera, but um, it is not actually that hard to watch this, but it is still pretty dang hard. Um, it feels like a uh, an old Game Boy. In fact, I think I have that in a drawer. It's in here. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, uh. The screen is a lot like that of an old uh, gray Nintendo Game Boy where you can just barely make out what's going on. Um, if they made if they made CDs for this, then I could see this being a CD player, but back in that day, if you wanted a CD player, you'd just buy a CD player. And I'm pretty sure MP3 players were getting kind of big at that time so yeah 
Uh, there's no sense in rating it because it's outdated technology. But if I were to rate it, I would give it um, two circus peanuts out of a chopstick. Yeah. Oh, you thought this review was over? No. There's one last thing we need to try. As you can see, the discs in this are fairly small. But that means there's something that we need to try. Can you play Shadow the Hedgehog on the video now? Let's try it out. I'm so excited I'm going to be playing Shadow the Hedgehog on a small little device like this. Man. Terrible graphics and- oh. Huh. That was anticlimactic. What happened to the old days where if you put something that looked like it fitted in something else, it just went kind of batshit. I, I miss days like that. Like if you put a Commodore 64 tape in a tape drive, or if you didn't quite set a Game Boy cartridge correctly in a Game Boy slot, and the Nintendo logo would be all creepy pasta and shit. <sighs> I miss those days. Anyways, that was the, uh, the video now. I highly recommend it if uh, you're living uh, 10 years ago.